A couple of months ago, I had a pretty hard phase of really enjoying playing with acrylic paints. I didn't necessarily have that phase for a long amount of time. It was kind of just like a maybe, maybe a month phase of really enjoying using acrylic paints and then it kind of trickled out of existence and I haven't really gone out of my way to use acrylic paints for quite some time now so I thought it would be fun to just bring them out again and play with them in my sketchbook because it's a very no stress medium and I don't feel very pressured to create anything in particular. I just kind of paint whatever I feel like painting in the moment and so I decided to do just that. And the very first thing I decided to paint was flowers on this spread and that is because I am super comfortable painting flowers. They're one of my favorite things to draw or paint just because I find it to be just very fun and soothing and easy because you can either go ahead and make them super abstract or you can be very particular about where you lay the paint or whatever medium you're using. And for me, when I'm doing it in acrylic paints, I am super messy with painting flowers. I think it would be cool eventually to go more in depth and worry more about details with acrylic paints, but I... I'm still using fairly cheap paints. These are Apple Barrel acrylic paints and they dry very, very quickly. So I personally find it really hard to blend colors together over a long space that's not just a solid block gradient. If it's just any kind of shape, blending paints, it's just acrylics. I have issues with acrylics. But this was actually a very, very quick one. This probably only took me about 20 minutes in real time, I want to say. It was just very fast. I didn't plan out the composition. It just kind of happened like that. And again, I did the paint swatch bits on the side taped out that I have done in the past just because I think it's, it's just very pretty. It looks very fun. I also decided to go in with some red paint and just do some very simple rose-esque flowers, which I'm very glad I did that because I think that really tied together everything. I didn't, like I said, I didn't plan the composition, so this was just kind of me completely winging it, and then throughout the middle of it I wasn't super happy with how everything was turning out, but I actually really liked how this one ended up looking once I peeled the tape away. The way it turned out actually really reminds me of what I would consider to be old lady florals, which I don't even know how to describe. It's normally like a faded, like older style, older aesthetic kind of floral print, which you see a lot. And I normally don't like what I would call old lady floral. I hope that's not offensive when I call it that. I don't know how to refer to it, but I normally don't like that style of floral prints. Just the look of it in general, but that's what this reminds me of and I actually really like the way it ended up turning out, so I will happily take it. It definitely, I didn't have this vision when I started, I didn't have any vision, but I do like how this one turned out. And then I decided to paint strawberries, which was very random. I was flipping through this sketchbook in particular when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to paint, and way, way earlier in the sketchbook I painted some strawberries with watercolors, and I thought it would be fun to just do them in acrylic paints, and that is what I decided to do for this second page. This was kind of where I had issues blending, even just blending the yellow tips into like the pinkish tops of the strawberries. The paints were drying so fast, so it was very difficult to work with. I don't understand how people work with acrylics when they're doing stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Watercolors are definitely my favorite medium just because while they do dry fast, you have more than enough time to blend colors together and it's like easy to reactivate. You don't, I don't know. Acrylics are interesting. This is, this honestly is probably like the second most detailed thing I've painted with acrylics in a long time. I guess I worked with acrylics a lot when I was in high school, but I was forced to do it and that feels like forever ago, even though it was just a couple years ago, but I don't know. It feels like that time didn't exist. I completely separate that from like my personal art experience that I've pursued on my own. <laughs> so I don't really go super in depth with acrylics as I'm sure you guys know by now. That's not my favorite medium. I just kind of do it for fun. And I did really enjoy painting these. Again, with the strawberry piece, I had no idea the composition I wanted to do. I kind of wish I had sketched out even just a very simple basic thumbnail on how I wanted this piece to go because even watching the footage back, watching myself paint this, I'm like, wow, I wish I put a strawberry there, did something there. And also, I totally forgot to include little flowers that turn into strawberries because I think those are very cute to add and it just adds something else going on. That didn't even cross my mind when I was painting these. I totally forgot about it until like the next day. I was like, oh, I could have added those into the piece, but that's okay, it still ended up turning out pretty cute, honestly. 
about halfway through it again with this piece I was like oh gosh I really hate how this looks but all in all once it was finished I ended up adding a bunch of other little just little stuff onto it to make it better to look at I guess and I don't hate it so that's what matters I definitely would like to play with acrylics more I will in this sketchbook because I want to finish the sketchbook as soon as I can, not like super rushing it, but I'm very excited to move on to a different sketchbook that's a bigger size, different paper, etc. And at the very least, acrylics hold up really well on this paper, given acrylics pretty much hold up on anything you put them on. Once you get that first layer down, you are good to go, but I do like working on this paper with acrylics because I don't feel like the paper is going to be responsible for the destruction of the painting. <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel with watercolors on this paper. It's it's bad news bears. But like I said, all in all, I do really like how this spread ended up turning out. I will be playing with acrylics more. I want to go buy more Apple Barrel acrylic paints because they are cheap and they work a lot better than the Craft Smart ones that I had been using. So we'll see how much acrylic painting I actually end up doing. I say I want to work on it, but for all we know, this could be the very last thing in this sketchbook that's acrylic paint. And I might not touch it for another like four or so months. I think that's how long it's been since I last played with acrylic paints. It's been a while. But this is a very colorful and pink spread. I do like how it turned out. It's, uh, it's very cute, and I like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoy my little tiny acrylic speed paint thing. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.